What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Bubba Spade Career Mode in MotoGP 20 and after a pretty disappointing performance I'd say in Catalonia it's time for us to go to Germany and go to one of my favorite tracks which is the Saxon Ring uh, and this is a track that like I've, I've mentioned in the in the previous season which of course was played in MotoGP 19 this is a track that I've been just playing hundreds of times on ever since MotoGP and MotoGP 2 for sure on uh, on the PlayStation 2 so we're talking about early 2000s and it's a game I, it's a track that I played hours upon hours upon hours on with my cousin Mike of course shout out to him uh, he's uh, he's probably the reason why I, I do feel so comfortable and so good on this track is because like I said we would just battle constantly on this track and uh, I, for the most part I would win because I had the game of course I, he didn't have the game so it only made sense but um, it was definitely something that I that I have very fond memories of and arguably my fondest memories uh, of my time living in the United States now obviously being confident on the track being confident with the game in general qualified on pole and uh, Foggia gets a good jump on the start I, I don't know exactly how because I felt like I actually got a really good start there as you can see only you know only Foggia got past us and I, so I felt like it was a really really good start but regardless he was way up there but still there's still plenty of time seven laps because it's a, it's a short track uh, I think in Moto 3 it's like what a minute and 30 something so um, if we can if we can hold our own like we didn't qualify then there should be no worries the, the beginning of the track is gonna be a bit more difficult just because it's you know it's a it's a lot more technical and I feel like this track the biggest thing about it is you have to be in the groove if you're not in the groove you're gonna struggle a lot and it's just uh, it's just one of those things where everything about is very rhythmic I don't know if that really makes any sense to you guys but that's how I've always felt with you know a lot of tracks are a lot more point and shoot um, even some of the tracks I like a lot like Magello yes it's very it's a lot more technical than say Qatar and stuff like that but or especially the new tracks like uh, like Austria for example but I just feel like this one everything is all about rhythm and we're actually all the way down to 12 so a horrible first lap luckily gained a bunch of positions right there and the good thing on Moto3 is you can be way back there in terms of points and stuff like in the positions but because everybody is always bunched up and because it's such a difficult and hard fought um, class you can really within one turn gain three positions four positions sometimes going through straightaways you can actually gain five or six like we did right there so it is a class where despite you having a hard time you can definitely gain a lot of positions very quickly and we are right there with Foggia almost crash out and honestly almost crash him out too which probably would have been worse and at least if you crash yourself out then you know it's on you Don't, like, even if it's a video game crashing somebody else still not the best thing you want to you know that's going to happen to you uh, almost got a penalty there and really risk actually crashing because one thing about this track is there's really not a lot of sand or a lot of dirt so, or gravel so as soon as you run off, you're going to end up in the grass. And that's uh, that's something you have to worry about a lot because, of course, you know, a, cr a crash in Moto3 can be devastating for you. Uh, even in MotoGP, of course, but in Moto3, I would say a little bit more. Uh, because there's so many people that have to get by. And yes, it's, it is easier to get past people because they're all bunched up at the same time. But you have to pass a bunch of guys, it's going to slow you down. It's going to make it even, hard even harder for you, especially because, you know how it is. Once you crash, you're starting to, you're starting to panic a little bit. You know, you got to get up there. But luckily right now, we're ahead of Mazia. Like, that's the important thing. We're not first place, but we are ahead of Mazia. And that's that's important. I want to see where he is. Antonelli right now is third. He's right there. He's on our ass. So, you know, he's I think he's third in points right now, or third or fourth. So don't want to don't wanna get caught by him either. But meanwhile, we take first position, and we're going into a part where I feel like we can definitely, a part of the race where we can definitely start to pull up a gap. Because my biggest thing is I, I seem to perform better when I'm up front on my own and that's probably that's probably pretty obvious I mean it makes sense if you're dictating the pace if you're doing your race racing comfortably then you're always going to be a bit more you're always going to be a bit faster you're always going to be a bit more calm of course right there make a huge mistake giving them the opportunity to gain but luckily we pulled such a big gap over the straightaway that we don't have to worry about it we're, we're still pretty far ahead and uh, one thing to keep in mind as always is the fuel consumption now having this kind of a lead a 1.5 second lead we can definitely be comfortable and we can definitely turn down the power um, but one thing I will say is the game especially on a track like this it's all about corner speed and making mistakes like I'm making already on this lap it's it's definitely gonna cost us you can see like how, look how close they are now look how close uh, Foja is he gained a second almost a second and a half 
right there in the in, in the early parts of a lap. So he's definitely uh, he's definitely riding a lot better right now, and that's the that's the big issue I still have with this game is it's not it's not a bad thing, of course. The game is excellent, but I still have to get good at uh, being consistently able to use corner speed and and really just race race confidently and not really make make dumb mistakes. Rodrigo, meanwhile, crashes out. Not really relevant to us. He was way back there anyway, so doesn't really make a difference to us. Um, still, this part of the track, we are always going to have an advantage, I would say, because the AI slows down a lot more than I would, so maybe, like, let me know in the comments what you guys think I might have to turn up the difficulty a little bit, because usually I have a hard time, but there are certain tracks where uh, I just dominate, and like right now, of course, Saxon Ring is one of them. Um, so I look forward to seeing in the later parts of the season what happens. So once we get to some of the tracks that I'm not quite as good at, say, like I said, Austria, uh, especially the new track in Finland. I've heard some bad things about it, that it's, that it's actually really, really difficult, and that it's got some problems with the game itself. So I do I do want to see what happens there. But like right now, we're three seconds ahead. We gain a lot in, the, in this last sector slash, you know, early <laughs> part of the first sector. Uh, and oh, 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 <laughs> almost crashed out there. That would have been bad, but luckily... We stay on the bike, no harm done. We lost some ground, but not too worried about that. Cause, like I said, there's still plenty of parts of the track where we can we can extend our uh, our gap. Now, has to be mo has to be mentioned. I have turned up the traction control to four, and that's not really necessarily going to be bad in terms of um, slowing us down from a handling point of view. But it does mean that it's harder to get on the gas. And as you can see, I'm starting to make a lot of mistakes right here. Um, even like the last two laps really have been pretty horrible. Um, this is where we have to make a lot of ground because each lap we've lost, well actually this lap even more, I think we were like what, three seconds up, so we lost a solid three seconds basically over this lap which was horrible, and the previous one lost a second and a half, so definitely need to work on that, but there's these these two turns right here where if we do them right then we're going to gain, a, we're going to pull a lot of distance between us and the opponents. So right now Mazia is 8th, no he's up to 7th, so he's having a battle right now with uh, with Finati, they keep on going you know, seventh, eighth, seventh, eighth. So that's really, really good for us from a championship point of view, and we have to we have to use this to our advantage. We definitely want to get the W here because I feel like if we do, then there's going to be a huge gap between us and second place. And I guess if we if that's the case, then it's definitely the time to kind of raise the difficulty a little bit more and test just how far we can go. Now that I'm starting to get more confidence with the bike and and uh, with the, with the game itself, I definitely feel like upping the difficulty could be something to do but right now making more and more mistakes also like I have to say man like I've, I've mentioned this I think in each video except for maybe the first one but the fuel consumption system really does make me nervous like it does keep me on edge throughout the entire race every single time because I mean if I if I turn down power and traction or turn up traction control I always lose a lot of ground because for some reason the AI doesn't seem to have any problems whatsoever with uh, with fuel consumption I guess that's just kind of to be expected. But for me, it's just, it's hard as shit. And any of you guys who have any kind of recommendations or tips on how to uh, how to use fuel consumption better, let me know. Because I've been on the Facebook group that, that I've been on. Like people, I've seen people call all the time talking about how like they lower traction control down to one and stuff like that. Or down to zero. And it helps them a lot. But not from a fuel consumption point of view. It's from an actual riding point of view. So I, I'm kind of hesitant to do that because I just feel like it's going to... It's going to have fuel consumption be even harder for me to deal with. Um, but I guess if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, uh, Mazia is still right there. Now he's actually battling for 6. So he is moving up in positions. Finati is moving down all the way down to 10th. So interesting stuff happening behind us. As for us, we're just kind of doing our thing. Making mistakes here or there. But like I said, there's, there's plenty of spots on the track where uh, I'm feeling very confident. Meanwhile, Mazia is up to 5th. So he's actually gaining a lot of ground to uh, towards us. He's back up to six. There must be a huge battle between three or four guys right there for for the the, the top five. I mean, just look at that. Ogura passing Mazi again. Also, we run very very wide, giving them a chance to get right back up on our ass. Not that they really need it because they always gain on us anyway. Um, making a lot of mistakes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm this was kind of frustrating for me because I've always just been really really good at Saxon Ring, and yes, we're still in first. I feel like we could have a 10 second gap easily if I wasn't if I if it weren't for me making so many dumb mistakes on parts of the track where I just shouldn't be. And 
yes, you could say the tires are a little bit consumed and stuff like that, but I just don't, I don't feel like it's down to the tires. I just feel like it's down to me making mistakes. Like, right there, there's no reason for me to be doing that, for really, you know, going so wide into the turn, because that's one where you want to be sitting up as early as possible. Meanwhile, I'm, it's taking me forever, and it's just, like, thank God for these turns right here, where so much ground gets made. Um, a lot of mistakes being made. It's, it's something I gotta work on. It's because, like, the game is excellent, but... Over the over the course of the of the race, especially something like this with a seven laps, and I don't know, I just seem to make a lot of mistakes, and it's really really frustrating. I don't even know if it's a matter of pressure because it doesn't really make sense because there's no pressure on us right now. You know, easily uh, first in points, we have a big gap there. We're consistently being first on this track in particular, so it's like there's no need. But right there, made a mistake again. You know, running this turn wide sets us up terrible for the right hands. Uh, go, taking it extremely slow, and of course, on a, on a track like Saxon Ring, looking slow sometimes means you're actually going faster. So, not necessarily terrible, but it just doesn't feel like I'm actually doing things right. Almost got a penalty there, jumped a little bit too, running it extremely wide, really giving them just an excellent chance to get up on our ass. And if you look at the fuel consumption, we have 0.04, so we can't even turn up the power to try to get ourselves a little bit of a, of a gap. And it's, it's, it's really frustrating. It's really, really frustrating to be making these mistakes. Uh, because, like I said, you know, being dominant the entire race, uh, except for, like, the first lap. But, you know, and, and having such a hard time keeping this lead, it's extremely frustrating. There you go. Antonelli passes us. Third. There we go. Get passed again. This time by Suzuki. Luckily, there's no Mazia. Nowhere to be found. He's, he's, we have a decent amount of space between us and him, at least. All right, so take back in first position, going into the final corner. We need to get this one right. If not, we might actually lose this race. Cut it a little bit too close, but I do like the, the way we come out of the turn, and we have a nice little gap, so I feel like we're going to win. There you go, Ulo. Pushing buttons, completely ruining <laughs> my video. Come out across the line, first place. I'm not going to say it was an easy race, because there were moments where we were struggling quite a bit, but definitely... I feel like it was something that we we won relatively easily because even despite making a lot of mistakes, apart from like that little split second on the last lap, they really never got too close to us and never really were able to get past us. So, good good job here for Bubba Speed. Now Mazio was four seconds back. He what he didn't finish quite as far behind in terms of positions as I would have liked, but a 34 point lead is definitely very solid. And Antonelli is actually 54 points back, so we uh, we gained. We put we put a, we put together a nice little gap now between us and second, and um, that's necessary because we're gonna we're gonna have a hard time I would say in the next few tracks. Um, I think next is is Assen, which is one that I'm I'm not too good at. Maybe in this game we'll be a bit better at. I'm hoping that's gonna be the case. Um, and then I think after that Austria, and then maybe the Czech Republic. So a few tracks in a row that I'm not really a big fan of, and then I think a new track in Finland that we that I've never done before, never tried. So might have to take a little bit of time to get used to that one. So it's going to be interesting to see how much, how much, how many points we actually lose in the next few races, if we do lose any points. So hopefully uh, we will maintain this gap and we'll continue to uh, perform to the best of our ability. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And like I said, please let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations on how to improve my writing itself. And also, and probably most importantly, how to, uh, how to deal with fuel consumption. A bit better because I feel like right now that's probably the biggest issue I have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.